So what's on your t-shirts? So it's um graphic design. So one it's a tombstone of black people and on the tombstone it says where they died. So one says, um, I was killed because my blackness was seen as a threat. Mm -hmm. Um one says I was killed because I was slaughtered by policemen and the other one says I was killed because they seen me as an animal instead of a human being. And what encouraged you to start this business? I'm very black conscious, my family is black conscious, so I'm very aware of the problem that the black community has, and I just showed it through my shirts. And how old are you? I'm 16. Okay, so how can we find your business? I have an Instagram. It's called utopia.apparel underscore, and in my own bio, it's a website. Okay, in the bio of the business page? Yes. And what do you plan on learning from this event? Well, I hope you learned so much from these beautiful hosts and people that you know. They help me out a little bit, you know. But I do plan on learning more about um, the do's and the don'ts about business. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I want to learn from all the people. And, you know. So what have you learned so far? Okay, so I learned that you need to watch who you hang around with, who you associate with. You shouldn't let everybody's opinions, you know, get to you because at, at the end of the day, it's your business, it's your baby, it's your child. I've learned that budgeting is key. I learned about stuff, okay? I learned about <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you. No problem. Okay. My name is Milani. And what's your business? My business is Get Wasted. We sell waist beads, handmade waist beads, anklets, and also chokers. Do you make these things? Yes, I do. How long have you been in business? Um, it's been about two years now. What made you sell waist beads? Um, I really like them. I feel like a lot of women don't like to show off their body, and when they have waist beads on, kind of gives them a little more confidence because they're cute. So, yeah. And how can we find these waist beads? Um, Y'all can follow me on Instagram at get.wasted with two Ds. Wasted, W-A-I-S-T-E-D-D. -D. I'm a volunteer because I need some. Okay. I have some. And who are you? Uh, me. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get back to that. <laughs> so, um, what do you plan on learning from this experience of this event? Well, I definitely, ooh, okay. Finish. I definitely want to. I definitely want to learn about everybody else's businesses. I want to learn about who everybody else is, and maybe we can all give each other business tips. Okay, toodles. Next. Oh, I'm a school sister. Oh. Oh, where your glasses from? Oh my gosh, they are so cute. Oh my gosh. So this is from LP. Oh my gosh, you could see me. I don't like that. Whoa. But you can't see me though. I can see myself in the okay. <laughs> She gonna run. Can you stand over here, please? All right, I got you. Okay, so this is the co-host. This is the other person I'm doing. Keep looking down so you don't see me. All right. This is the other person the event is hosted by. What's your name? My name is China. And what's your business? China Claire. So my business, I um, sell cosmetics. Um, it's China Claire Cosmetics. Um, I sell lip gloss, makeup, concealer, I mean, sorry, lip gloss, anything you need, concealers. I started off with lip gloss, but that just gave me a ground. Um, I also make shirts uh, for guys that want to support me, but don't really, don't wear makeup. So stay tuned for later. And what's your name on Instagram? Lady China with an underscore, and you can follow my business page at China Clear underscore. China Clear underscore? Yes. Okay, thank you. Oh, wait, why did you want to have this event? What made you be interested in being a part of this event? Because I 
because I just wanted to meet different people. I feel like um, there's so many people, amazing people, doing so many different amazing things that nobody knows about, and I just wanted to have that opportunity for to be that middle person to you know make them meet and make them grow connections. Okay, thank you. All right, what's your name? Janaya. And what's your business? Jewel Doll. And what is that? Custom jewelry. She's laughing. It's custom jewelry? Yes. What made you want to do that? Um, I just thought it was different at the time when I started a few years ago. So, what you learned from having a business? Um, just do, do what's best for you. Like, work at your own pace. Don't try to keep up with anybody. Are you enjoying yourself at this event? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and how can we follow, find you on social media? Just search me up. What's your name? underscore. <laughs> That's your business page? Yes. Okay, and what's your real page? Underscore, underscore, Janaya, J-H-N-Y-A. All right. Hello, I'm Lily, the owner of Lee Bundles Hair Studio. I'm an 18 year old stylist from Philadelphia. And yeah, we're at the sleepover. It's lit. Girl bosses. Y'all know what the going on. So, what is it that you do? Um, I'm a hairstylist. So I specialize in weaves. I'm known for my ponytails. Um, $85 ponytails, hair included. I'm the only one in Philly who does it. That's me. And what's your social media? Uh, Lee Bundles underscore underscore L E A B U N D L E S underscore underscore. And why did you start doing hair? Because I used to like doing my hair. I used to like getting my hair done every week. And my mom was just like, girl, I'm not going to keep getting your hair done every week. So I started doing it myself. And yeah, that's what I did. I started doing my own hair. Like, you do my hair. And then I started doing clothes parts. Like, I feel like I was the only person who knew how to do clothes parts. Everybody used to come to me for clothes parts. And then ponytails came out of nowhere. Are you enjoying yourself at this sleepover? Yes, I came an awesome time. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... <laughs> so, we gotta get in the a little late because we had some technical difficulties last night. Can you fix your face, please? So, what's your, what's your name? Okay. And what do you do? I do custom denim, but I'll be branching off into an online boutique pretty soon. So, yeah. Wait till the car is rolling. Okay. What made you start your business? What made me start my business? I didn't even have plans for starting a business. I just custom made a pair of shorts and I got really good feedback from it. So I just started to make custom denim. What has entrepreneurship taught you? Entrepreneurship has taught me self-discipline and that I need to get more organized. I need to get more organization, better organization skills. And did you enjoy the event last night? Yes, I did, because I was a 12. <laughs> <laughs> What's your social media? Officially, that Tate Montana. Is there anything else you would like to say? Follow my other business page. I'll be doing a rebrand really soon called The Future is Female 101. Yeah, so that's what I have to say. And what's going on on that page? I source different vendors for female entrepreneurs or aspiring female entrepreneurs. So if you need help looking for a good quality product, that's what I'm here for. So, yeah. so you help people build businesses as well? No, I don't offer that service yet. But I do give businesses. And you sell vendors for people that want to start businesses. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. What's your name? Lily. What's your business? Hello. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> are you gonna be for me and What's your name? Lily. <laughs> What's your Action? <laughs> and is there anything else you'd like to say? Is there anything else you would like you to gotta say? You got to get that part out. What part? part is the okay, is there anything else? You, is there any? Yes or no? I'm thinking you got to wait and then you can just crop it out. <laughs> what should I say? Oh, God, bitch. <laughs>